Hi, today I want to learn some critical and important lesson that we need to know as state clicks or SMS coordinators. When you want to change the status of a member, maybe by death or they are put on censure or their names are dropped or removed from the membership, their whereabouts are known, you don't know where they are, they are missing. How can you change? Okay, so get the same uh, name that you uploaded, Mr. Question Example. So what you need to do is this. For example, if you discover that member B is dead or the name is removed, or I don't know how or why this member B was uploaded, we need just to adjust them out. This is how we do it. So same procedure will do a lot of things. Okay, so what you need to do is just to go on member. From there, you come on search new. Okay, so from there, you want to go on plus new because you're not uploading a new name. You want to change the status of a certain member. For example, we we had Mr. Mr. Example. I'm sure if you watched out to upload the name, you know this member. Okay. We are just demonstrating so we are not using actual names so example question this member okay so this member is there okay this member is there so what you want to do is to change the, the things you have talked about the death the, the, the removal all those so what you need to do is just to come on these three options for more simple option here and you click there then you need to come here on transaction Okay, so when you click on transaction, boom, here we go. So you can change the status, the death status. Let's begin with that one. So when the member is dead, we don't need a vote. We just need to indicate the dead when that person died. Okay, so if that member, for example, example question member died yesterday or, or today, then as you change, let me just to come here, follow the procedures. Okay, you go on member, search drop new, then you search for that person, then you go on the more option symbol, then you it will bring you here on the change data. So on death, just click here on death, just write the date when that person died and the update. Okay, some computers or gadgets will show you remove. You need just to click on the same uh, blue button next from the date uh, text box. Okay. So that's how we do it. Just come on death, you put the date, you update or remove that member will be removed from active members to uh, the list of the deceased. Okay, another one, let me go, let's jump to adjust out. Okay, where it does not need much also, just needs the date and the minute. For example, you discover that, I don't know how, we have tried to, 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 to see if this member was once our member, this name, we know it, or any nearby church, just discovered this was just all a mistake, okay? What you need to do, you put the date when you discovered that, the minute number, so when you put the minute number, when that person was, a, or that when you discovered that that name was not supposed to be in that church, you just put that minute number. If you don't, when you when you're writing your minutes you don't put minute numbers or this is when you just started you can just put any digits for example you can put the initials of your church ms then you put one then you adjust out that is when you discover that, that name was not supposed to be in that church okay let's go to absent or whereabouts unknown so like according to church manual before you declare a member missing, you must look for them for two years, okay? So here you need to start, you need to put the date when you start looking for that member. The good part of putting a member here on whereabouts unknown is that even other churches, when they will try to upload that name, for example, that member who is missing, for now, in quotation marks, who is missing, is not, he or she has never been present to church for some time. When they want to upload them in the system, they'll find them. Because when you put them here, it's like you are advertising 
to those who may find this person to tell them that your name is uploaded at a certain church and they are looking for you. So you need to put the start date after two years. Then that member will be removed from the active members or membership and will be declared missing. Let's go to censure. Yeah, so we want to put somebody on censure. Of course, the system, like we always say, it is church money bound. So when you want to put somebody on censure, you must follow the stipulated uh, procedures in the system. So when you want to put somebody on censure, what you need to do is to follow uh, the procedure. So the first question that the system will ask you is, okay, that person you want to put on censure, did you visit them? Okay. We know according to the Bible in Matthew chapter 18, we need just to visit them. We don't just put people in sanction without visiting them. So you need to confirm if you did. If you did not, don't confirm and the system won't allow you to put on censure because you rebelled against the church manual. You did not follow the church manual. Okay, so that thing, that commission, that violation, was it the violation of principles as outlined in the church manual? Okay, that what that person did, yes, according to the church manual, it was wrong. When was the member notified uh, that the name is going to the church board? Here you need to be careful. According to the church manual, the space between member notified going to the church board and the day the church board voted or recommended for censure, it should be 14 days. The system will be counting. So the date will be well, which will be put here and here, the difference should be 14 days. So before you take the member to the church board, you must notify them 14 days before the actual date of the church board. Then the member notified, you need also to notify the member. When was that member notified that your name is now been taken to the church business? You need to put, okay, again, the date the business voted that the member should be put on censure. Okay, then when the member was notified that you are, your name is put on censure, then the duration of the censure, the minimum is one month, the maximum is 12 months, so you need to choose which one, then the minute number. The end date will be automated by the system. Okay, so this is how we deal with the censure. The same is almost the same with the removal. You need also to answer the same questions. Okay, so according to the change manual, we have two ways that you can drop or remove the, the member's name from the, the register or the church membership. Number one is at the request, at member's request. So when the member requests, okay, remove my name from the register. Everyone got that right to say they want their names being removed from the active membership. So you can just remove them at their request. Just put the date when they wrote that letter or you received that letter or you acknowledge the letter or when they just came in person and when you acknowledge they acknowledge their request to be removed from the church membership you can do the same you put the minute number then you update but if it is because of the violation of some principles you need to follow did they violate any principle did they receive uh, the visits and other things applies the same here we don't have the like the period for how long, mainly, like how long that member will be will stay at that state of being removed from the church membership. Okay, so then you put the mem the minute number, then you update. Then that name will be removed from the active membership. Even if this person went somewhere else and they wanted to claim that they are still a regular members. The system will detect that they were once removed. If they want to be uploaded back to the system, they should undergo the baptism and they will be uploaded in the system as the rebaptized members. I'm sure and I'm hopeful that this was a good video for you. Please don't forget to like, share the video, and leave the comments where we can make some more improvements or corrections. Or if you have some more questions, you can still ask in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching.